Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to install Byte GPT. We go here to integrations within your account settings, then we find Byte GPT Plus, we accept the terms, we install it. This will then contain the form where you must have the details of the person who will make the charge later. So we can fill in the data here and then fill in the OpenAI data. This is the key to OpenAI. We can purchase it within the OpenAI platform or enter the dashboard. You can create a specific project and then in API case, you then create a new key for yourself. Use whatever name you think is best. Copy this first key. So I paste it here, which will be responsible for transmitting the audio directly from OpenAI. Here then, it will show that it is installed successfully. We have some installations done and therefore our provider here, which in this case would be OpenAI. I can paste the key again or generate another one. And here in assistance in this place, we create an assistant with whatever name you want. I will also include the APT part. And below we will have other videos on our channel that teach instructions, some details. For now, I would just take the assistance ID but it would be important to also include the instructions for your robot to respond according to your company's data, as well as the files that can be placed there. Then I will put the ID. It will then link to that account as to that assistant. So here I have the template. I can install other wizards. Let's download it here and download it. Once downloaded, we can come to communication tools. I always recommend forcing the loading here to update the fields and then import the file from your computer that was downloaded. Load and go, the template is already activated. Note that step one and four is just an example that we left, it is in Portuguese, but you can delete it, write the prompt you want or translate if you also want to use it as an intention. Here is an intent detector that will see what the person types, whether, for example, talking to an attendant, a meeting, a general greeting, and you can add other options here as well, depending on your needs. And remember that this field here is a variable, which if you delete it, you can find it by pressing the key and message received, which is exactly this one, okay? If you copy it as text only, it doesn't work. You need to link it with this list in order for it to work. Another important point is that if you wanted to start directly without having this waiting pause, we can eliminate this step and connect directly to this 144 bool. This step nine is important to remain. Because at the end, when the answer is delivered, it returns here doing the loop. We have an explanation of this template too in our materials. So now let's do a test where I have a channel here. If I activate a message, the message will arrive here in our lead. But as I want it to be triggered automatically, it is important that you come here in your flow. I recommend that as a good practice, we clone it, preserve the original, and I will put here as an example, my flow one copying, and I will preserve this one in case I want to make other copies or test it. Great. This flow of mine, which is the copy I can activate for any new conversation or in any way you deem appropriate according to yours, your account or your business. Very well, now any new conversation, this flow will be activated. Let's simulate here. Let's send a hi or hello. The lead was created here. Okay, notice that we have a 20 second interval because in my flow, I wait to see if the user finishes writing something else beyond the radius. So now he has already processed the OGPT. He has already given the intention of greeting and now the response will come normally. And then I can ask who you are, for example. So notice that I can send what's. Note that he joined the two messages because he was within those 20 seconds of interval. It will translate exactly the answer you would like.
Now, to have the company's data, you must go here to the assistant and enter the description you want in the instructions. That's it for now. We saw that BART APT is working normally in your environment.